Hello and welcome everyone to this new series on Python. In this series of videos, we will see how to deal with text data in Python. If you are new to the channel and still not subscribed to this channel, then do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. Now let's dive into Jupyter Notebook and see how to clean text data in Python. In today's session, we will see how to create a word cloud in Python. You may have come across these word clouds where we can analyze which products are selling more or which words are people using while giving reviews on any products. The most commonly used words appear bigger like here we can see reading, then books and the less commonly used words appear smaller in the word cloud like here we can see end, then we can see conclude and so on. Now let's see the top 10 rows of the dataset that we have been using. So write down data.head and within parenthesis let's write down 10 to see the top 10 rows. Press shift enter. So these are the top 10 rows of the dataset that we have been using. Now we will use this stop word underscore clean column to generate a word cloud for this tutorial let's generate a word cloud to analyze what people are saying about the sony products so first explore the data set and see how many rows and columns are there in our data set write down data dot shape and press shift enter so there are 382 rows and 10 columns in the data set. Now to check different categories that are present in the brand column. This brand column, we will use value underscore count. Run this cell, press shift enter. So value underscore count will tell us how many rows are there for each of the brand out of the total 382 rows so out of 382 rows in the brand column 197 rows are for sling media brand then 147 rows are for sony brand and so on as we need to create a word cloud to analyze what people have to say about the sony product so we will have to first filter out the rows that are for Sony brand so using log I have filtered out all the rows for the Sony brand press shift enter so here we are asking Python to get all the rows from the data where the brand column is Sony next To generate a word cloud, we have to combine all the reviews in a single string. So here using for loop, I have added all the reviews that are present in the stop word underscore clean column in a list, review underscore list that I have defined here using append method. So review underscore list here is giving us error because it is shown in red color. So I guess we need to add a tab. Yes, now the error has been removed. So what we are trying to do in this code is first we have defined the empty list review underscore list. Then for loop will iterate through the stop word underscore clean column of the Sony data that we have created above where we have filtered all the rows for the Sony brand. I have assigned the data set to a new variable sony underscore data so the for loop will iterate through all the reviews and then append all the reviews in a single list that is review underscore list for now let me comment this line and remove comment from here let me first show you what we have inside review underscore list 
प्रेस शिफ्ट एंटर नाउ हेयर ऑल दी रिव्यूज हैव बीन एडेड टू अ सिंगल लिस्ट एज यू कैन सी हेयर सेपरेटेड बाय कॉमा सो नाउ दी नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी टू कंबाइन ऑल दीज रिव्यूज इन अ सिंगल स्ट्रिंग सो फॉर दैट वी विल यूज ज्वाइन मेथड so that all the reviews are joined in a single string uh, let me remove comment from this line of code and write down here print combined underscore string let me comment this line so that we see the output of only combined underscore string now press shift plus enter again so here you will see that all the reviews have been combined in a single string let me show you these steps again so basically here we filtered out all the rows from the data where brand was sony and assigned to a new variable sony underscore data then our intent was to combine all the reviews in a single list so for that we defined a new list review underscore list and then using for loop we iterated through each of the review present in the stopper underscore clean column and then appended all the reviews in a list review underscore list and lastly we wanted to combine all those reviews in a single long string so for that we used join method and we wanted reviews to be separated by a space so here within quotes i have given a single space now we will use this string to generate the word cloud so again you can see what we have inside review underscore list and then let's see the output of combined underscore string so here the reviews were combined in a list and then using join method we combined all those reviews in a single string now to create a word cloud we will have to import word cloud from the word cloud library plt dot figure to give a specific size to the word cloud we can write down anything here and this figure is coming from the matplotlib library so make sure to import the matplotlib library that i have already imported in the starting let me show you so here you can see that i have imported matplotlib library as plt and to generate the word cloud we will use generate method of the word cloud library that we have imported here and give the combined string as the input and to show the word cloud we will write down plt dot i am show and the variable so i have assigned word cloud to a new variable word cloud press shift enter if word cloud library is not present in your system then you have to install it using pip install so just write down exclamation sign pip install word cloud and run this cell so it might take few minutes to download this word cloud package so here we can see what people have to say about the sony products so here we can see great sound quality good so that means people are liking the sony products so in this way we can create a word cloud in python and analyze what people have to say about different products
you can even explore different properties that we have inside the word cloud so write down word cloud and a question mark and run the cell so here we can see different properties that we can give within parenthesis here you can see that the background color is black here because by default background color is given black here if you want to give white background then just add this property here uh, write down here background color within quotes white and press shift enter so now you will see that the background has turned white if you want to remove any word from this word cloud because you think that those words might not be useful for the analysis then you can add those words in the stop word list as we have discussed in the previous video where we have discussed how to remove these stop words from the reviews if you have not seen that video then i have mentioned the link of that video in the description below and you will also find the link of that video on the top right corner so this was all that i had to cover in this session i encourage everyone to jump to jupyter notebook and practice whatever we have discussed in today's session i have added the kaggle link of this jupyter notebook in the description below do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this entire series on how to deal with text data i hope this session was helpful thanks for watching this video